So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my Team of the Week 18 prediction. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, then check out my sponsor. There's a link to do so in the description, igvault.com. And if you use the code Kieran, you'll get yourself a nice discount. But if you use the code Kieran, T-O-T-Y, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount throughout the Team of the Year promo. As you can see in the background, we have had a bit of a graphical overhaul. Going forward, I'm going to try and show you guys what these players have done um, visually by showing you goals and assists. Hopefully you guys like that. If you do, let me know in the comments. And if you don't like it, let me know too, and uh, hopefully we can work on improving it going forward. This is just like a work in progress right now. I am going to change the graphics a bit more next week, but this is just a quick mock-up that I made for this week. So as I say, all feedback is welcome as we try to uh, improve this series. Anyway, in the comment section down below, I want to hear from you guys. Who do you think will pick up and inform this week? And also, um, if you could leave a like written on the video, that would obviously be really, really appreciated. Um, worth noting as well, I don't believe Mbappe will get an inform this week because obviously he does have that team of the year card obviously did put in a good performance getting himself two goals and a assist but with him having a team of the year card out an inform would obviously be pointless and they just won't bring it out so uh yeah no Mbappe this week but uh yeah i just wanted to show you guys a quick example at the start of the video this video and this whole series is of course sponsored by One Football. If you didn't know already, One Football is your one-stop shop for all things football. From just general news to videos to transfer rumours, the app has it all. So make sure you give it a download. There's a link to do so in the description. Completely free to download and also to use. So uh, you've absolutely got nothing to lose. If you want to keep up to date with uh, player stats as well, it's also useful for that. As you can see in the background, we have Mbappe's uh, stats so far. 12 total goal contributions directly in a uh, 17 matches not too bad at all so uh yeah pretty nice season for him so far what's he doing in the champions league five goal contributions not too bad uh, not too bad especially for someone as young as him he's 22 he's somehow three years younger than me which is just absolutely insane anyway one football more importantly link to download it in the description make sure you give it a go okay then so now the plugs are out the way it's time to begin the predictions and although players are going to be a bit more scattered about now uh, they're not going to be as organized we will still start with goalkeepers just because that makes the most sense so let's begin with Pavlenka. He made nine saves in a 4-1 win against Hertha Berlin. Didn't keep a clean sheet, but did save a penalty in this game and also got very good match ratings across the board. And for that reason, I think he's got a very good shot at getting in this week. It's also worth mentioning there has been a lot of good goalkeeper performances in the Bundesliga in the past few days. I think four, maybe five of them actually saved penalties and wins for their side. So uh, yeah, there's loads of options. Um, if Pavlenka doesn't get in, I think Florian Muller will instead. The next goalkeeper, we are going to discuss is a pretty obvious one and one that you guys probably some of you are going to hate to see this some of you are absolutely going to love it obviously nick pope's non-inform item is just ridiculously overpowered in this year's game and he could get an upgrade on wednesday he made six saves got man of the match and kept a clean sheet in a 1-0 win against liverpool and uh yeah i think it's pretty likely he'll get in this week and uh yeah, for once, people are actually going to want to see a goalkeeper in their red picks on Thursday. Well, some people will anyway. Now, because goalkeeper options were so strong this week, I've actually gone for three of them. Now, we don't regularly get three goalkeepers in a team of the week, but it has happened a few times this year. And I think this week, there's a chance that we do see three. So we've got Xhaka's here. He made 10 saves. That's right, 10 double digits and kept a clean sheet in a nil nil draw against Anderlecht in the Belgian Pro League and for that reason like I just can't ignore that that's a that's a terrific performance and uh, maybe he will get in if he was in you know a bigger league and um, I think EA would definitely go for it but because he's in the Belgian Pro League EA might ignore it we'll have to see what happens. Hilal Akbuna got himself two goals and a assist in a 4-0 win in the Turkish Super League so uh, we have gone for him as one of the bench players and then next to him we have the Abbey of Bayer Leverkusen, who uh, put in a really good shift in um, Bayer Leverkusen's 2-1 win against Dortmund in the midweek games. He got himself a goal and a assist, as you can see, and uh, he also got a 1.5 match rating from Kicker, which uh, I definitely think will help his cause. One player who definitely should be in the team of the week on Wednesday is this man whose name, you know what, I'm actually not going to try and pronounce just in case I absolutely butcher it, but uh, got himself a hat-trick. One of the goals was a penalty, but uh, ultimately there hasn't been too many hat-tricks scored in the past last week and for that reason I think this guy has a really good chance at getting in. I also think Golovin has a good chance as well. He got himself two assists in a big important win for Monaco. They won 3-1 against Marseille and uh, this guy was involved 
in uh, both of the goals as well. EA kind of might not go for this one though because they're already going to upgrade Ben Yedder's headliners card due to Monaco hitting four wins in a row. And then we come on to Romero who uh, is an interesting one. I'm not actually sure about the rating of this guy. Now his previous special item was a quote unquote silver star but it wasn't a silver star card. That's how you unlocked it. But it was um, the Champions League team, the group stage one. So uh, unsure about the rating. I think it'll be 80, but I might be wrong with that. So that's it. Don't take that for, you know, um, accuracy. And um, that doesn't quite make sense. But let's just roll on. Anyway, a goal and an assist for a centre-back and a clean sheet in a 3-0 win. Hard to ignore him. Eight match rating as well from Gazetta. I think he'll be in. It's just a case of what rating will he be. Okay, now it's time to talk about Nico Elvedi, who, in my opinion, should be guaranteed an inform this week. Now, he's played in two matches in the past few days, and uh, he scored in both of them. He's actually scored three times across two games, which is pretty mad. The reason I think he'll get the inform mainly is for the first performance in uh, Gladbach's 1-0 win against Werder Bremen, in which he got the only goal and recorded a clean sheet. So just off the back of that, he would have a good chance of getting an inform. He then followed that up by scoring two goals in a 4-2 win against Borussia Dortmund. So, uh... Two pretty good performances from him. Yeah, in the second game, he did concede twice, but uh, he scored twice. So, uh, three goals in two games for a centre-back. One clean sheet as well. Like, it, it's hard to ignore that. So, we are going for it. Sticking in the Bundesliga, the next player we are going to discuss is Kostic. Um, as you can see on the screen, he got himself a goal and a assist in a win for his side. And um, he was, like, kind of unlucky not to get an inform last week, to be honest. So, uh, I feel like this week, you know, he's technically the definition of an inform player. So, I think there's an increased chance of him getting in. The goal and assist that he got for this uh, particular incident was uh, in a 5-1 win against Arminia. James Madison was unfortunate not to get an inform in last week's team of the week. They gave it to Yuri Tielemans instead. And uh, we've got another player here who is quote unquote the definition of an inform player. Now this performance relating to Tuesday um, where Leicester beat uh, Chelsea 2-0 and Madison got himself a goal in this game. So because of that I think he's got a chance this week. Also in that same game indeed he got a goal so he is an option from this match as well. So uh, something to consider there. I've gone with Madison mainly for the rating and obviously indeed he already has um, a pretty nice special card with uh, I think it's a road to the final item anyway let's move on and let's talk about Benzema he got two goals in a 4-1 win for Real Madrid against Deportiva Alaves and uh, in this very same game there are other options to come from this match but I've gone for Benzema due to the headliners card I think EA might go for it especially with team EA being out right now however there are other options one of them being Hazard who got a goal and a assist and another option being a uh, Cruz who got two assists and very good match ratings Honestly, I would not be surprised to see them go with Cruz instead, but I'm going to go with Benzema just because he got more goals. But um, as I say, if, if we do get Cruz, I won't be shocked at all. Now let's talk about Canales. He is a midfielder who actually did score two goals. He got two goals in a 2-1 win against Celta Vigo, and uh, because of that, like two goals for a midfielder is not obviously a common thing. I think there's a good chance of this one happening. Now, in the very same game, Nabil Fakir got two assists. He set both of them up, so he is also an option. And this is kind of one of them situations where, like, logic says go with the goal scorer, but knowing EA, the, like, EA know people would prefer a Fakir in game, so they might go with him instead just because, you know, he's a more popular card. But uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going with Canales. Hopefully he gets it. Well, uh, obviously we'll see on Wednesday. Hosine is up next. I do expect him to be on the bench and it's pretty obvious to see why. Four goal involvements in a win. That's pretty hard to ignore. So uh, do expect him to make it. We'll be quite surprised if he doesn't. Now we come on to one which I think most people will be, you know, interested in. We have a potential inform, Frankie de Jong. He got a goal and an assist and technically a clean sheet as well as a midfield player. So uh, yeah, I feel like he is, you know, much guaranteed a spot this week. I'll be very surprised once more if Frankie doesn't get in, especially because that'll just be a nice card for ultimate team, and I think EA will want to throw that one in packs. Now we come on to one which I'm a bit less confident in compared to some of the others. We have Juan Cuadrado, who got an assist in a win for Juve. I also helped them keep a clean sheet as well. But uh, he, he got good match ratings, and that's why I am going for him. It was a 2-0 win against Bologna if you are interested. I'm definitely going to get this guy's name wrong, but uh, we're going to go with Boadu. He got two goals in a 3-2 win against Feyenoord, so uh, I feel like he has a good chance to make it this week and could actually be an alright uh, cheapish inform. Nothing too special, obviously, but uh, could be an okay card. We've also got Kramaric, who uh, I feel like will be in the upcoming team of the week and probably will be one of the high-rated players as well, something worth noting there. Um, he got two goals in uh, Hoffenheim's midweek game where they won, and then he followed that up on the weekend with two more goals against Cologne. The two on the weekend were penalties, but still 
four goals over a period of two games definitely isn't bad for a striker and uh, because of that I think he will get in and then we have uh, Baddy on the end who is a centre back who uh, got himself two goals unfortunately did not keep a clean sheet though and that definitely could go against him but um, he's another one of these players who uh, picked up decent match ratings and uh, because of that we are going to go for him and um, it was a 2-1 win against Cannes if you are interested. Leon's Marcelo from centre back scored twice in a big 5-0 win against St Etienne so uh, he's pretty hard to deny. Two goals and a clean sheet, yeah, like surely he's got to get in. Alternatively though, from the same game, Cadawere, who is having a brilliant season might I add, also played a blinder. He got two goals in this match so uh, he is also an option too and to be honest, I'd probably rather see him get in but um, I'd rather not see him get an inform, I'd rather him be the silver star because that would be an outstanding item. Pellegrini had a pretty good game in Roma's 4-3 win against Spezia. He got himself a goal and a assist. Only a 7.5 match rating from Gazzetta though, which makes me a bit less confident about this pick, but I'm going to go for it nonetheless. Now, we spoke about Mbappe earlier in the video. Obviously had a really good performance in PSG's 4-0 win against Montpellier. Two goals and a assist. But um, obviously, like I've already said, he's in Team of the Year, so he's not going to get an inform this week. And if he does, I'll be stunned. I really will. Um, anyway, I've gone for Icardi instead as the alternate... Uh, alternative player is what I tried to say there uh, from that game he got a goal and a assist in obviously that 4-0 victory and for my final pick this week, we are going to go with the Bayern Munich centre-back who got himself a goal and kept the clean sheet in a 4-0 win for Bayern against Schalke. Now in this game, there are two better options than him. We've got Kimmich who got three assists, but obviously he's in team of the year, therefore won't get an inform just like Mbappe. And then there's also Thomas Muller who got two goals in this game, but since he's in the current team of the week, can't be in the upcoming one. So uh, yeah, we had to look for a different option and uh, the centre-back is the other standout from this game. So with that in mind, it's not a pick that I'm making with confidence, but um, it's it's one that just, you know, would be quite fitting, I think. Now, in terms of prediction for the Silver Star this week, I'm actually going to go with Rangers left-back uh, Barisic, who got himself two assists and a clean sheet in a 5-0 win for Rangers against Ross County. I just think it'd be a nice addition for Ultimate Team. He doesn't actually have that much pace on his non-inform item, so uh, they could boost his pace massively like they did with um, that Sambia, the French right-back. So uh, that would definitely make this item usable and uh, obviously would provide a green link to uh, inform Kent as well, which I'm sure you'll all absolutely love. So that just about does it for this video. Those are my predictions for the upcoming team of the week. If you could leave a like rating on the video, that'd be absolutely fantastic. In the comments below, let me know who you think will pick up an inform. Also, give me some feedback on the new visual stuff. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.